My dear brethren, I begin with Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want you to bear this in mind that I started with salam. Usually, this is not my practice. Not that I do not wish salams to my audience, no. It's a matter of habit. I'm used to reading a verse from the Quran and get stuck into the subject straight away. No beating around the bush. But for some special reason, I started this talk with salams. And I will tell you why as we get along. I will come to it. Why I said salam alaikum at the beginning. Though I'm not averse to other people starting with salams, it's good, beautiful. But I said it's out of habit with me. I read an ayah and I start talking about the ayah. Where does the ayah come from? This, that, that, what it means? And on into the subject. But I had a special reason. But before I proceed, I also want to congratulate this Jamaat for that little plastic sign. Will please somebody get it from heel on, heels on line. Will somebody please get it for me? There from the wall there. Heel, heels on line. That's right. Shukra. Very simple thing. You know, this idea about heels on line, I have been wanting to talk to my brethren. Because in the Juma Masjid Durban, we have Masjid the Juma, Juma Masjid, the largest in the southern hemisphere is in Durban. And we have problems with the lines. You go to Saudi Arabia, you have problems with the lines. You go to England, America, the Muslims, they have problems with the lines. And I want to tell them why you are having this problem. But I don't want to appear and say, look, this clever guy now comes along from Africa and is telling us why we can't get the line straight. For a thousand years, fourteen hundred years, we got Islam with us, and this guy here, this Hindi, this Indian fellow comes along and he's telling us now, he said, look, the problem with you is that certain basic things, fundamental things, elementary things you haven't understood, that you're not getting the line straight. Because you want to get your line straight with your toes. I said, you know, some people wear size five, size five shoes. Some people wear size 10, 10 and a half, 11, I wear 9. Can you see the difference now? Immediately, as soon as you get onto the line with your toes, you are out of line. As you put your toe, I'm wearing size 9, you're wearing size 5, another guy's wearing size 10 and a half, 11, the line is out. The heel. See, I have been training in the brigades. I was with the Pakistan National Guard. And I know when you say shoulder to shoulder, is the heel that counts. Because the heel can't go out. You see your heels and everybody's heel is coming perpendicular, straight up. Shh. Now, you know, I'm telling all this. You know why? It's being recorded. This tape, inshallah, will go to the West. <laughs> see, I couldn't start talking to them there. I said, you see, my people, somebody had this good idea 
I must congratulate that brother, whoever he is. There is a saying that my, that my conviction grows infinitely the moment another soul will believe in it. You know what I have in mind? If somebody else says, Dito, like this, I become boosted. Mashallah. No, I'm on the right track. So, my brother, whoever did this, I said, you are on the right track. And the people who are hearing it in other countries, because this tape goes all over the world, they will also know why they are having the problems of not getting the line straight. The reason is the heels are not on the line. Congratulations to you, to this Jamaat. And for many other things, I don't know, go in other you say you're wasting so much time. The subject that was chosen was if the label shows your intent, wear it. And it's something strange, you never heard of it before, like a thing like that. If the label shows your intention, what you are about to do, what you want to do, so wear the label. Let the people know. Like this one here. There's a label here. This label says, the Shahada, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. We had made others, metal ones, we said, the Quran speaks the word of God for universal guidance. Beautiful. Mono, this thing we had. And the IPC, Islamic Propaganda Center, we were selling it, and it's gone out of uh, use at the moment, but I think we should renew it. The Quran speaks the word of God for universal guidance. That's a label. So everybody sees it and says, what is this Quran? So man has a tendency to want to know what it is. What is this Quran? Gives you an opportunity. The Quran is the word of God. I thought only the Bible is the word of God. Where do you get this from? Opportunity for you to talk. You see, if the label shows your intent, wear it. People know what you are, what you stand for. So I read this in a newspaper, written by a Westerner. He had some other reason for saying this. Good ideas he had. He is talking about some parties. People go to the parties and they don't know, they want to know how to get started with one another, how to chat, conversation. What do you talk about? So somebody thought of an idea. I said, look, let's put on something. Previously used to put names. And generally they put names. Ahmad Didat. Ahmad Didat means nothing to the other fellow. Ahmad Didat, yes. Where did you come from? Where not? You, Muhammad Siddiq. You, Abdul Rahim uh, Brown. So what? What am I going to talk with him? What do you want to talk? Difficult. So this says, now let's put down something, what you are specializing in. Philately. Philately. You know what's philately? Philately is the hobby of collecting stamps, postage stamps. There are people, they collect postage stamps. So a lady put it on. Philately. So now a fellow wants to get started with her. So he says, you know, I do etching. And if you want to see, I got some at home. So she says, look, man, this is philately. I'm interested in stamps. But he says, you see, I'm from the foreign corps. And you know, you know what I mean. In other words, he wants to take her home, and the guys are going to show his etchings, but sex is behind his mind. And they made something, they said, look, now we want to know, let's find out, what should we, we want to make up these labels for people when we go to a conference, that when we get together, make it easy for people to talk. So right, come on, tell us. What do you want to talk about? This is sex. You? You want to talk about sex. How about women? You? Sex. You? Sex. 100% of the guys, they want to talk about sex. They're hungry for that in the West. This is the only thing that they can talk about. There's nothing higher. Animality. Down, down. Animality. They want to talk about sex. sex. So the person is asking the organizer, he said, did you... A thousand people were to be gathered. This is, did you print a thousand labels? Six, six. 